Hi, Shoe7. I'm back. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about women who are too available. Women who are over available. Women who invite themselves. Women who text first. Women who make the first move. Women who take the role of, you know, initiating things. Okay, I, as y'all probably already know, I don't believe in it. I say don't do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> And the reason I say it's not worth it is because if you initiate things, if you're the one always calling, texting, uh, making plans, being available whenever they call, answering on the first five seconds that they text you and this, 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 and that, you're too available and you become boring and old news quickly, okay? You're not a challenge. And men like challenges, believe it or not. They like easy women too. But after they're finished using those easy women, then they remember that girl that's a challenge. And then they go, I'm going to go for her next because I still can't get her. I've got this girl, this girl, this girl, because they were easy. But the one I really want, I can't even get. You know, she doesn't pay me any money. She doesn't take me back. You know, ugh, why? So they're going to go all out for that girl. They're going to be like, what does she want? What do I have to do? What's a funny joke I can text her? Maybe she'll text back if I if I make her laugh, you know. They're going through all this stuff in their mind. Oh, she won't go out with me. I, I tried to invite her to the nicest restaurant. She doesn't like that kind of food. So now they have to actually think and invest time in what does this girl like, you know. They need to pay attention to you, you know, if they watch you online. They need to pay attention to what kind of food you post, the places you like to go. So they can say, oh, hey, do you want to go out to such and such place? And hey, if that's your favorite place, you might just say yes. So they have to actually work, put in effort, get to know you, spend time researching you. Uh, it's And you're a challenge. And once you get something that you have worked very hard for, it's not so easy to let go. Because you've spent time, money, effort. You become emotionally invested in trying to get this person. Okay? So... Ladies, if you're answering on the first ring, if you're texting back without, you know, thinking and texting back in the same minute, if you're saying yes to everything he asks you, if you tell him your whole life story and he, there's no mystery to you, he's going to get bored of you quick, okay? You have to always stay a challenge and change it up. When he figures out what you like, stop liking it and start liking something else. So then it's more of a challenge. I'm trying to tell you, I've been married for a long time and with the same person forever and he still don't know. Every day, you know, every two weeks I change. <laughs> you got to keep up. You got to pay attention. You got to get it together. Because when, you, when you're constantly challenged in life, you're always improving as well. So you're also making this person a better man. Like you're making them more attentive. You're making them more um, thoughtful. You're making them more considerate. So these are all the qualities you want in a man anyway, right? So if they have to do all these things to impress you because you're batting down everything that comes from them and they have to keep trying harder and after they go off, like a lot of women, this is this is where a lot of women mess up. They'll get jealous if the guy starts stops paying them attention for a little while. But they'll be right back as soon as they find the easy girl, get what they want from her, get bored of her and then they'll be right back to you because they could never get you. That's not what they wanted. They thought it would help them or satisfy them. But it was too easy, too blah. And they're still thinking about you while they're with them. They're like, dang, how come it was so easy to get this girl? But I couldn't get that one. You know, now they're insulted. Now they're like, dang, well, why didn't she want me? I'm not good enough for her or something. So they're going to go ahead and leave the easy girl, not call her back, ghost her out, and go back to the girl who challenged them. This is the type of women men marry. Women who challenge them. Okay? I promise you. If you're not challenged, if somebody doesn't have to work hard for you, if somebody doesn't have to go out of their way for you, they're probably not the type of person that wants to marry you, okay? Because you can trick, you can even trick a man into being like this over you if they probably weren't going to be this way over you anyway. It's mind games. All is mental, you guys. So... You might have like a situation where you're dating a guy and he keeps going back to the same girl and she's like not all that But she doesn't take any of his crap. She tells him off. She says no 
it's because men like challenges, okay? She doesn't do everything you do. She doesn't do this. She doesn't support him. She doesn't support his dreams. She, because she knows some of them dreams are stupid and that this is the real world and in order to be with me, you need to have this, 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 and that, you know? So, you know, while the easy, convenient woman will do all this, this, and that for the guy, he knows in the back of his mind that's not going to make him into a better man subconsciously. He knows that it's not going to help him. He knows this other girl over here is wife material and what she says will make him a better man, will push him into his greatness. He, she's not settling for mediocre. He can't stay the same average dude and be with her. He has to step up his game to be with her. So in the back of his mind, he's like, okay, well, whoever she ends up with is going to be better than me and I can't have that. So if I really want this girl, I got to become better or I got to do better. And so he'll leave the easy girl who did everything for him and his mediocrity and go for this girl who wouldn't settle for it. Okay. And by the time he gets this girl, he's going to be a better man. He's going to have stepped up his game, done A, B, C, and D, whatever it took to get her. And he's going to be a changed person. He's going to be doing things for her that he would never think of doing for you. Okay. He's going to be buying her gifts when you never even got a birthday gift. Okay. Why? because men like challenges. And if you fear losing a man because you don't want to do what they want to do, then that's part of not being able to play the game, okay? You're afraid to play. You're afraid to play because you fear losing. And if you fear losing, then that means you don't think you're good enough or you're worth it, you know? There's two type of women. The ones who know exactly what they want and how to get it, the ones who don't know what they want and don't know how to get it, okay? There's nice women and there's women who are challenges. Which which one gets wifed up? Which one has the better lifestyle? Which one has what they want in life? The woman who challenges, okay? A man can get a woman like this, just like a woman can get a man like that, to sleep with them, to do whatever but they cannot get someone to commit to them and marry them unless they blow their mind feel like there's no other there's no replacement I can't do any better than this this is it okay you can't get those feelings with a woman that's gonna do everything you ask when you ask how you ask because you're gonna get bored you're like okay well, thank you you know guys get bored and they want the woman who won't do stuff like that for them because it's a challenge, okay? So guys, I know guys are gonna chime in and say, no, that's just not true, you're giving good. It, it is true, okay? It is true, you know why? Because when you, have, when you have a good girl and she does everything right, you're always looking at the girl out the side of your eye and wondering about her and wondering why she's not paying attention to you and wondering if you could have got her if you didn't have her. You know, and then she ignores you because you're not a type. Now you're more intrigued with this type of person. Now you're looking at her. Why? Because guys are never satisfied in a situation where everything is freely given. If you're worried about your woman leaving you and if she's going to fuss and fight with you tonight or if uh, what you got her for her birthday was good enough, you won't have time to be looking over here at this chick. You know, if you're worried about if you're going to get something tonight from your woman or if, uh, you know, you picked out the right flowers or whatever and if she's going to be happy with uh, where you taking her for dinner tonight because you know she's crazy, you're not going to be looking at this girl over here, you know, because you're going to be too worried about this girl, okay? When your attention and focus is on a, a challenge, you don't have time to look at other stuff, okay? You're focused on the challenge. <laughs> so women, if you're too easy, if you're too nice, if you're too gullible, if you're too this and you're too that, chances are you're probably going to be ditched, ghost, and you know, by these guys. And they're going to keep going back to the one woman who don't want nothing to do with them and who's really probably just playing the game, you know. Sometimes women do have a plan and they're like, well, I want him to do A, B, C, and D before I even go on a date with him. You know, he has to get this, he has to get that, he has to get this, he has to get that. And so these men will, some of these men will work months just 
just to get one date with a woman, you know? They'll be like, dang. You know, the, the woman will keep it friendly. They'll keep them in the friend zone. And they'll kind of tease them a little bit. Like, oh, yeah, when you get when you get that convertible, call me. I want to ride. You know, these might seem like gold diggers. But these are techniques that women do to, you know, get the type of men that they really want. You know, oh, yeah, when you get your new car, give me a ride. I see you. You know, um, and those guys will call those girls when they get the new car. They're going to be like, oh, come ride, come take a ride with me. You know, they'll scoop her up before they even tell you they bought a new car. You won't even know they bought a new car until you see them driving it, okay? So, I'm just being honest and I'm being real. Um, I know it's so funny. A lot of guys have flipped the script these days and, well, what about love? And Y'all didn't care about love, what, five, ten years ago? Y'all really don't care about love when y'all are trying to date anyway, okay? What it's about is getting what you want getting the type of person you want in your life, compatible, the person that's going to treat you right, do nice things for you, and who you know you want to be around, who's not gonna bore you, okay? Dating is supposed to be exciting and fun and um, keep you on your toes all the time. It's not supposed to be predictable, boring, and bland, okay? Which is, which is what happens when the person is too easy, okay? That's why they get dumped quick. So, y'all keep it interesting fun switch it up be a challenge to these guys because that's what they really like they're gonna say otherwise because they want to get in with the easy real quick but as soon as they're finished with that person they're on back to the to the challenging woman and one day they're gonna get one because they're gonna know the game so good they're gonna figure it out but they're not gonna settle with one of these easy women they're always gonna go for the ones that they could never get okay and if you don't believe me, look at all the celebrities who dated these type of women, the good, you know, the ride or die. And as soon as they blew up and got famous because they couldn't get these type of challenging chicks, that's what they go straight to, okay? So I'll leave y'all with that. Peace. I'll see y'all later. Bye.